What's going on guys? Back with the trailer with Whit Rocky Mountain Training Horse and we are going to show you where and how to tie on your trailer whenever you're out and about with your trailer. First and foremost, don't tie to your trailer if your horse doesn't tie. If they have a habit of sitting back and breaking a halt to do it, tie them to something that's not going to move. A oak tree, a building, something set in stone. Don't put them to your nice trailer that costs you a lot of money. Now that we have a horse that does tie, I like to stay away from the tires and rims. Okay? And I don't want them dancing around the corner of my trailer. So with all this option, and this is a, a stock trailer, so everything's an option, I'm going to pick halfway between the wheelbase and where the gooseneck comes over. Then I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to bring that rope here. And basically, I'm going to do an easy out. I'm going to reach through those rabbit ears and pull one. Reach under his line, pull two reach over his line pull three the reason I like this for an easy out is because my horse is no matter where he goes look how the release is close to you so when he's fighting and dancing around or he has an issue we can just reach up here and grab him and it's gonna come right out a second knot that is super beneficial say you have a horse like I have Fandango and Fandango boy he's a mouthy little joker whenever I'm gone he knows how to untie the knot no problem I got something for Fandango too we're gonna put the all of the line through like so we're gonna make a loop just like this with the horses line underneath it and the end of the rope is gonna come out of the hole behind the horses line and back through this is called a bowling a bowling you can find it's as old as time it's a married time knot just like that it's not an easy out but before you say it not every knot has to be an easy out, okay? We want this horse to be here when we get back. With that knot, if he nibbles on it, bites on it, does whatever, he's gonna be there when we get back. I wouldn't be tying this horse to, to my nice trailer if he didn't tie. If he runs into issues, the halter's not gonna give. Where I'm tying is not gonna give. Since he's tied up above his withers, he's not very likely. I don't have enough line for him to get a front leg over. So this is a, a good way to leave my horse whenever I go work my other horse at the horse show or if I'm roping off of one horse and my other rope horse is tied to the trailer, great way for him to stand. And that's how we like to tie to the trailer. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video.